All right, is everybody ready? All right. Chief Jane Castor, I'm here to talk about an incident that came to the attention of the Tampa Police Department this past Monday, uh, March 3rd at about 9 p.m. Uh, we became aware of a family. It was uh, Ronnie Morales and Jessica Rosado, the parents, and their children, Ileana Serrano and Rania Serrano. Uh, what occurred shortly after dinner this past Monday evening, uh, Ronnie Morales felt sick and called 911. However, he was feeling so ill that his girlfriend drove him to St. Joseph's Hospital that was a short distance away. When they arrived, um, Jessica Rosado uh, became ill and was rushed across the street to St. Joseph's Women's Hospital where they induced labor as she was nine months pregnant. A short time later, their daughter, seven-year-old uh, Ileana and six-year-old Rania started experiencing hallucinations and felt ill. Both children and Ronnie Morales received tracheal intubation and were hospitalized at St. Joseph. They were released from the hospital in good condition on Wednesday, March 5th, and the mother and her healthy baby boy were released on Thursday, March 6th from St. Joseph's Women's Hospital. Uh, TPD's forensic investigators took possession of the food items that the family had consumed prior to falling ill. They also took the family's oven out of the home for testing. Test results received today around noon from the Hillsborough County Medical Examiner's Office determined that the family had consumed bottom round steak contaminated with LSD. Toxicology tests on the samples from the family are pending and we won't have the results on those for approx approximately three weeks. Uh, detectives determined the family bought the meat at a Walmart that is located at 1501 North Del Mabry Highway. The Walmart chain has been very, very cooperative with our investigation and they voluntarily turned over all like meat products from uh, their shelves at the time. The medical examiner is currently testing that meat that Walmart turned over. At this point, TPD does not have any other similar cases and it's not clear to us if a crime has occurred. The Federal and Florida Department of Agriculture, along with the Hillsborough County Health Department, and as I mentioned, the medical examiner are investigating the case along with TPD detectives. And we have no information to indicate that uh, this is anything other than an isolated case. And as I said, we are currently investigating. Does anybody have any questions? So the other meat that you collected from the store, are those, going, are those being processed right that's, now? That's correct. That's being tested as we speak. Are they still selling meat at the store? I believe that they are, but you'll have to get with Walmart to get the, the specific information on uh, on that store and what steps they're taking, but they have been very cooperative. Chief Kester, were you able to examine the packages that the meat came in or simply? No, they have the package. The detectives have the package and all of that went to the medical examiner. But the information that I have is that the LSD was actually found on the meat. Do you know meat, not necessarily yes. just in the pan, for instance, but no. it, was, it was on the meat that was in the package? That's you... correct. Okay. Do you know when the meat was purchased? I don't know that. How, much, how many packages of meat did they have to collect? Any idea? I believe it was just one, just that particular package of meat that they took from that home. You know what I'm saying, from the store? Maybe. Oh, from the store. You'll have to get information concerning Walmart. Uh, you'll have to get that information directly from Walmart headquarters and it's my understanding that they are going to be uh, providing a news release as soon as we're finished here. Obviously the big question is where did, how did the LSD get on the meat, but do we also know was, uh, was there a different taste, flavor, did it look different or was the packaging? No, there was no indication that, that we know of right now that the the meat tasted funny there was it was the physical uh, symptoms that they had which included uh, hallucinations dizziness uh, rapid heart rate and difficulty breathing were the symptoms that um, that uh, were relayed to our investigators is it the working theory then that this came from the store tainted and that there's no way we d we do not know right now we're giving you all the information that we have but we have collected a number of items in that home 
to uh, ensure that um, we test everything. Literally, the detectives pulled the stove out of the out of the house, and this family had just recently moved into the house. They had only been there for a very short time, two days, I believe. Do we know where the uh, meat is packaged? Is it, is it packaged locally? Again, you'll have to get that from Walmart. I don't know. I don't have the answer to that. Chief, are you interviewing Walmart employees at this point? Meat no, no, but we are working very closely with and with Walmart in the investigation. We just received the test results today at noon, so it's a very, very active and ongoing investigation. Can you share the family's request for privacy that we invited them here today? Yes, we did invite the family here, and clearly they, you know, this has been a very traumatic experience for them. And plus they have a newborn at home, and uh, today is one of the children's birthday, so they have requested their privacy. We asked them if they would come today and participate uh, in this news conference, and uh, they declined to do that. Again, just stating that they would rather maintain their privacy. How important was it for the welfare of the family that they did recognize the signs, they didn't just wait, I mean, they went? You know, that would be a question for a doctor, but the fact that they had to be intubated is very serious. So, uh, you know, timely medical attention was clearly uh, in need at this point, and it was very good for them to, to have responded to the hospital. Initially, it was just, uh, Mr. Morales that had the, the uh, symptoms and then once they got to the hospital uh, you know the mother had them and then in short order the, order the children did too so you know couldn't have been too much better of a place to, to have those symptoms and to get immediate treatment medical treatment. What about this baby I mean could, could this child die or something from them eating? Uh, again that would be a, a question for uh, the medical personnel but uh, every all the information that we have received is that it is a very healthy newborn. You know we hear a lot about uh, marijuana being easy to get uh, meth we don't hear about LSD very often. I mean, is there a lot of LSD in Tampa? Is it a, or is it pretty rare here? Uh, I wouldn't say it's somewhere in between that. It's not. Uh, there's not a lot. We do see uh, cases usually um, around a younger crowd in their 20s of LSD use, but uh, it, it's not prevalent. But it's not rare either. Does this family have any criminal history? No, no criminal history with this family. As I stated, they had just moved into uh, to this house, uh, I believe, two days prior to this incident occurring. It's my understanding it was the first time that they had actually cooked a meal in the house. So we really didn't have a lot to go on. So we, in essence, went in and took everything we could to try to um, uh, exclude the stove, exclude any other food items that may have been in there. But when the, the meat was, uh, was tested, as I said, it did come back positive for LSD. The family has no idea where this may have come from, and there's no indication of any involvement uh, on the part of the family. But again, it's a very, very uh, dynamic investigation that is in its initial phases. Did you said toxicology report, you're waiting it's for the remaining meat? Yes, it'll take it probably three up to three weeks to get a lot of the these tests back uh, you know a lot of the tests on the family members themselves uh, other food items that were inside of the house but that preliminary test was was uh, for LSD and that's not excluding you know there could be other in in these tests their other items could come up on that meat who called the police initially because people go to the hospital sick all the time what the, the family members actually called uh, 911 for Mr. Uh, Morales, and he he was so ill that his um, his girlfriend Jessica uh, Rosado d just drove him. They they live a very short distance from St. Joseph, so instead of waiting for fire rescue, she drove him to the emergency room. Once she got there, she started to get like symptoms herself. And you guys were in, because 911 was called, that's how you got involved? Right. Okay. And then we went to the Is there a case like this before? That you can think of? Not that I can think of. I'm sure there has, but uh, nothing that I can readily recall.
Are, are all options on the table, i.e., could it have been a hacker at the Walmart? Could it have been somebody that snuck in the house? Could there be a uh, somebody that they don't know that was in the house since they just moved in and maybe still had a key? I mean, are all options on the table? Right. Everything is on the table right now. We're not going to speculate on any theory. We're going to investigate everything from top to bottom to ensure that, that we figure out where this did come from. So it might not even be Walmart. It, it may not be. Mm -hmm. The chain of yeah. command, they left it the car, somebody put it, some, anything. Mm -hmm. Could have been anything. But the, the, the LST was on the meat, like inside Correct. of her? Just, um, on is, but my understanding is that it was on the meat. On the on top. Now, I don't know what the saturation process, uh, quite often LSD is in liquid form, so you know, there could have been a saturation process. So uh, again, I don't, I don't, all I know is that we got the, the results today at noon and they were positive for LSD. I can't say how saturated the meat was in it, how much, what content there was, but it, there was enough of some type of a substance to make all four members of that family gravely ill. Was there any, was all the meat that was tested, was it already cooked or was it raw meat and? and it was cooked. cooked. That particular piece of meat was cooked. Crazy is it to hear a story, story like this. I think we're all kind of surprised. Well, in police work, you're used to unusual stories, but this Thank one you. is very unusual. I, I'm just glad that they they were able to get to the hospital in short order, and they were given uh, excellent medical treatment, and everybody has recovered. All right. I have one more okay. question. Um, it's a little bit of a two-part question. But do you have any sense of how long the hallucinations lasted? And how you would compare their symptoms with classical symptoms of someone who might be using LSD recreationally. Was, I noticed you used the term gravely ill and, and possibly someone who's never used LSD before mm -hmm. might view it differently from somebody who has. Um, do you have any sense of just how intense? Well, I can say that I, I can't speak to the intensity of the uh, symptoms that they had, but those symptoms that they had are indicative of LSD use. I'm not sure that I've ever seen or well seen or heard of anyone who has consumed LSD that had to be intubated, but that's not out of the realm of, of possibility. But to have hallucinations, uh, rapidly, a rapid heartbeat, and uh, dizziness, those those all could be indicative of LSD use. Would you say that it would be indicative of a, a large dose of LSD? Or that would large? just be speculation on my part. I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know that. All right. All right. Thank you all very much. Appreciate it.